Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Generation X. And why? Well, I'll talk about it in a minute. Starring Matt Brewer, Vanola Hughes, Jeremy Ratchford, Heather McComb, Augustin Rodriguez, Randall Slavin, Mubber Roberts Robinson, Suzanne Davis, and Amaryllis, and directed by Jack Shoulder. Now, here's why I'm doing this movie first before I get to 2000's X-Men. It's because it was added in the series. Well, well, not added in the series, but it was a TV movie. Yes, I'm going back to those. But I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm going to lead it up to the new X-Men film, Dark Phoenix. So let's see if this can top it off. We'll see how this goes. Let's get into it. A couple of doctors led by Ralston, played by Kevin McNulty, whom I reviewed before and ironically in the 2005 version of this movie. Drilling inside of a brain of a mutant, and I'll be talking more about mutants next, or mutation next week, until Emma Frost, played by Finola Hughes, barges in with a couple of doctors telling Ralston He's done working on the science project, and a couple of government people take the mutant away, and Emma is pissed, and so am I, because this acting is so bad. And getting up, setting up mutation, a mutation moment as the opening sequence looks bad. It looks better next week, but not here. I mean, it was made for TV in the 1990s, might I add. 96, I think, is when it was, too. Five years later, we meet Angelo Espin Espinoza, excuse me if I said that wrong, played by Augustin Rodriguez with the power like Mr. Fantastic is rather bad looking. Maybe that's where Fantastic Four got it, the original, I mean. But then we move on to a guy who I swear to God, he acts like Jim Carrey as the Riddler named Russell Tresh, played by Matt Frewer, who has an, who was in a movie I one day will have to review called, maybe one day, but I don't know when it'll be, but his, with his scenes with, and I swear to God he acts like the Riddler in this movie, And that is honestly not a very good vibe. Then we meet Jubilation Lee, played by Heather McComb, and her powers having a fire are having a firecracker hands, which isn't that just freaking dangerous? But the fireworks hands fireworks hands just looks awful in those scenes. Emma and Sean Cassidy, played by Jeremy Ratchford, go up to Mrs. Lee who's Jubilation's mother, might I add, and other recruits like Angelo and Kurt Dastrius, I think it's Dastrius, played by Randall Slavin, Mondo, played by Bumper R Robinson, Arlie Hicks, played by Suzanne Davis, and Manet St. Croix, played by Amaryllis, forgive me if I said that wrong, to an academy of free mutants called Xavier's Gifted School for Youngsters. And I honestly wish we had Professor X here, which we will end up getting next week, because there are there are much better characters in next week's movies that, more than in here, because I don't like any of these characters and I don't get, care about any of them whatsoever. While the team learns things at the academy, Angelo tries to trap intruders when there's an intruder alert, but is very unsuccessful at it. I think it's Cerebro, and I'll talk more about that next week, which was a very silly scene, meaning what in the hell is the point of that scene? Other than they needed an hour and 27 minute movie, which is very damn pointless, might I add. The team without Sean and Emma go into town. Angelo, Kurt, and Mondo go into a diner, and a heartful girl named Kayla and her friends force. Well, not Kayla, but her friends force are. 
Angelo to eat lunch with them and give him a bad case of banana split. Which, what a terrible scene. Absolutely terrible. The way they trick him in, on putting his head in the banana split is just the worst. Moving on. Um, Russell goes into the mind of the mutants in Cerebro and scares the living hell out of the Generation X team, which is a cheap which is cheap and it looks like a bunch of crap to the point I'm thinking this movie looks like a cheap piece of crap. The effects in this movie look very cheap as well. The mutant younglings, I'm gonna, I don't know what to call them anymore, goes to the carnival and Angelo runs into Kayla and they walk around in the, into her jackass friends Meanwhile, Kurt and Arlie are kissing, and Kurt's powers exposed to Arlie's underwear, and they get arrested, but there's more to it, and Emma thinks about expelling them all, but instead Sean thinks of a punishment for the teenage mutants, and the acting in this movie is very freaking horrible. Angelo gets abducted by Russell, and Jubilation fills him and wakes the others, and gets them suited up with Sean and Emma to fight against Russell and save Angelo and they've really su successfully and they're very successful I should say and Emma almost goes out with Russell until Angelo takes him far down to the underworld which looks horrible and this movie's and and the movie ends with them putting on some generation X outfits which looks absolutely bad like I am baffled by this movie by the end of the day. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 2.2 out of 10. This movie is bad looking, the effects are bad, the acting is bad, and this plot is absolutely horrendous. And I'm baffled by this movie's existence, and I don't want to see any more of this pile of piece of crap. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next week I will be back with the 2000 version of X-Men. And until next time, we'll be watching.